Hey, what's up? It's time for another video, and today we're gonna be unboxing and modifying a Torium 14 HG. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using this for slow jigging, and uh, we'll talk about exactly how I'm gonna be using it later on. So, when you open the Torium box, you'll find a manual. You don't need that. We might be needing this. It's an accessory pouch with a screwdriver, some screws, and also a mounting bracket for the wheel. Of course. Ooh! I have to return this. They forgot to uh, put that back in. And then here's the reel. And there's pretty much nothing else in the box. And you know, the Torium, it's a, uh, it's a real comparable to, an OSHA Jigger. You can see that it is about the same size there, but as soon as you put them side by side, you'll see that the Torium spool, so the Torium spool is actually wider and although the spool of this one is deeper you actually can cram more line on the Torium 14 than the old OSHA Jigger I'm still gonna be using this for some applications of course it's my main slow jigging reel I like this reel it's strong for its size it has a clicker which is uh, something that I would need for this particular technique that I'm going to be using the reel for. What I don't like about it is the handle. Now this is a cheap reel, okay? For for what it is, it's actually quite cheap, but it's a pretty good reel and I'm, I've been eyeing the 14 and the 16 size for quite a long time. What I really don't like about stock Shimano reels is that they don't offer you a longer handle. It's just me. I like longer handles, especially with super fast reels. For practical purposes, it's ab about a meter per crank. Now, that's good. I mean, that's really good, especially when you're slow jigging and all that. It's just that I don't find, I mean, that feels cheap. You know, the kind of plastic. It's, it's pretty much the same. This is the reason why I, I always upgrade my handles to these these are studio ocean mark handles and you can see that they're longer right there okay so there is a few centimeters this is 90 I believe 90 centimeters yep or 90 millimeters, sorry, my bad. It's 90 millimeters. And it is kind of pricey, I should say. A um, little bit of a uh, heads up there. In Dubai, they cost 750 dirhams at the dealer. And what you get is a long handle soft grip and it's a ergonomic T handle so unlike this that has a small knob this has a big and comfortable you can see the angle there so it's a bit much more natural when it comes to um, holding it and when you're jigging this it's great now the added benefit is you know when you're reeling this travels shorter so for fast retrieve purposes like when you want to wind fast a shorter handle is better because the rotation takes less time than a longer one wherein it takes a makes a big bigger circle and uh, it takes longer for you to complete that turn what it also does is since this is a high gear 
with a longer handle it will feel softer it gives you less resistance when you are reeling in it's just well it just kind of makes this reel better now 750 and this is 600 something let me check the receipt <laughs> yep the reel is 670 or about there and then the reel or the rod I'm oh, sorry blah take two shit so the reel is about 600 something and the handle is 750 so 1500 and this costs 1500 so for or 1500 somewhere about 1700 depends on which store you go to um, but with the added 750 on top for the handle it kind of gets a bit pricey so yeah for this you know you get a handle the reel and probably a few extra bucks for lures okay now with the packet comes some screws for the end caps right here and you have oh look at that that's new I haven't seen that before they have like uh, these square ones now so this is probably a new version or something but anyway so we'll be changing the handle use these uh, parts that they came and pretty much what we're gonna do is just change the handle and the star drag remains everything else remains so it's just gonna be that this reel is also already good for the cost and what you're getting this reel is already seriously fantastic and aside from the handle I really don't want to change anything more on this so it's a very good reel for the price and changing the handle on this or Osha Jigger and Ishimano reel is actually quite easy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the handle and then we'll well I'll record everything for you to see we'll be using this taped up monkey wrench or adjustable wrench whatever you want to call this so I tape this up so that when I turn this part here or I install one of these guys it's not gonna mess the finish up what you will need are is also a good screwdriver that fits that screw I have an adjustable one here that let me see here it just I think one size smaller there we go let's try this one I'm not a pro uh, at this let me warn you so whatever you see here is a, with a little bit of caveat okay try at your own risk it's better to uh, take this to the shop and actually have them do it I just didn't have the time so I'm doing it myself I don't have pro grade equipment but I have swapped handles before so nothing new for me okay I think that's to tighten it. Man, it's so unwieldy this. Okay. There we are. Now, I am going to be using this for something really weird that I want to do in Fujera for some time now I've been trying to find a spot where I could just do some of my experiments 
and we found a sandbank there in relatively deep water so I thought hey maybe I could use my OSHA jigger the problem is if you're targeting some fish that run the first thing that happens or the first thing that you actually think about is the capacity of your line and also the drags especially when you're using there we are especially when you're using really thin line which is what we're actually planning to do now just before you take this off remember that you have to press down on the drag because things fall apart real easy and real fast with these things so what you end up with is that small washer at the back of the handle and your screw so take this put it back there like so okay and then set this aside like that okay so these parts you can get rid of on the side right there give us more space gonna be using one of these and first thing we do is measure which one goes in not this one not this one and it's this one so these you save next step is to take that off get the right bit doesn't take a lot of pressure there okay so take that off so you're gonna be deciding to use this part or this part okay I choose to use this one right here okay there we go and then we will need one of these adjustment shims same hole size just to check this here and see the thickness if it's oh, okay so they're they come in different thicknesses so I'm gonna choose the thickest one I could possibly get away with okay so it's either of those two and we're choosing this one so put that there put this here it's pretty straightforward honestly I mean you know anyone could do it okay now Test fit it. OK. 
okay just like that okay now here is a little trick that I've learned so when you already have it height hand tightened like that okay take your wrench tighten it a bit more until it just it's snug not tight just snug okay so that's about it that's the max that should okay at this point you can check how it feels if it good feels good to you that's great it's almost ready to set now what I do is like there okay that's about a quarter turn I put that under or I put it on okay before I tighten now here's the thing you have to do it in such a way that you can see the screw make sure you have really good purchase on the nut hold it there okay and then do a one fourth turn to line everything up and that's about it for this one if you want to put some loctite you can go ahead and do that now I'm fine without it I got rid of my crappy uh, my crappy screwdriver and we're we're going ahead and uh, putting this on with a better set of screwdrivers so we're tightening up and we're about done almost just make sure you tighten it flush and there we go so that's the complete install now um, just a word this is very important as soon as you kind of tighten this down you don't have to tighten it really really tight this is the most important thing because this keeps everything from unraveling okay so just as long as you have this retainer this part right here won't ever loosen up so this is this is quite important it's pretty much for all reels all right so that's the install and it is that easy however something to note that if you install it incorrectly you might break stuff so it's better to have the staff at the shop install it if you have the time to actually have them install it if you're in a hurry and you're comfortable doing all these things you can as you guys can see it's actually pretty straightforward so yeah here is our Torium 14 with a Studio Ocean Mark handle and what I'll be using this would be for deep water soft plastics you've heard that right so we are going to be fishing with soft plastics in very deep water and we're talking about up to almost 200 meters in depth it's a crazy experiment maybe it will work maybe it won't but it also means that this is something that yeah no it's not a single purpose reel I could use live bait with this live baiting even off of a kayak uh, it's a multi-purpose reel it's not like for me you know I needed something that I could use in both Fujera and Dubai I'm gonna be using braid on this one and we're gonna be using uh, anything from slow jigs to soft plastics in deep water with this one and this is a uh, this is a reel that I'm putting together because I want to use really light line on this and we need the extra bit of capacity just as long, uh, just as uh, just as a preparation for hooking something big in the deep and we might need a bit more of a capacity than the OSHA Jigger 1500 and this would spool about 400 plus meters of pretty thin line and that's something that we need for the kind of stuff that we're doing now so uh, it'll be small soft plastics of about 80 or probably even 60 grams all the way down to 40 in about 100 
50 meters or possibly even deeper. Now, we're not specifically targeting really big fish, but it's more of the kind of fish I want to target, like uh, bigger trubs in deeper water of Fujera. Obviously, this is also a reel that would be able to serve as well here in the Gulf. So when I'm out in the kayak or when I charter a boat in Dubai, Abu Dhabi or somewhere, it's not too big to use. Uh, so it'd be something that I could use in both coasts. The, the, the Usha Jigger also does the same kind of thing, but I like to rig it a bit more differently than this one because this is going to be a bit more of a shall we say multi-use reel than the osha jigger which i reserved specifically just for slow jigging and we've caught so many fish with the osha jigger there's nothing wrong with it i'm just thinking that you know i need something like this with a little bit more line capacity for several uses that i am thinking of so that's it uh nothing fancy really uh we changed the uh the handle from the shorter one to a longer one just so we would be able to manage the speed of this a bit more efficiently than with the smaller one and plus i, I there's nothing wrong with this handle i just don't like the these uh rubble rubber handles this is a bit more comfy for me so this year what I'm trying to do is actually streamline my gear and when I go I don't want to take five rods you know I, I want to take two so I also would like to note that when I do that what happens is that or what usually happens is that I would be able to just take fewer lures rather than taking for five rods and reels I could just take you know two and possibly like just ten lures one for each combo it could be uh, slow jigging fast jigging setup or it could be um, you know take just take a bunch of uh, you know probably like five slow jigs and five fast jigs and then a casting setup with another five lures so that just brings my lure total to about 15 as opposed to like I don't know upwards to 30 or something like that for a normal trip with several rods and reels so that's that's basically the whole idea of me just you know trying to eliminate a lot of the gear that I take with me because it does take a, a, a bit more preparation and a bit more um, shall we say muscle to just bring stuff in so that's that's basically it all right so uh, I'll be spooling this with some lines soon for now I really don't have trips lined up so we're just going to be doing this now this was born because of the last trip that I went on to uh, well one of the, the fishing trips I went to was in Fujera and what happened was that I, I tried to just bring a few lures two rods and reels and I was there for for uh, something else but I realized that hey you know what if I had a reel that I could use you know, for deep water bait fishing, I could use uh, a bit more capacity because you want to drift that line. Now with the with the OSHA jigger, something something that uh, I mentioned earlier is that it has a deep spool, but it also has a narrow spool. And what happens there is that if you put your line out, the uh, the line or the drag also kind of becomes tighter. Well, not kind of, but it becomes tighter as you drop, or you at your fish when you're fishing at depth. Well, whereas with this one, because it's a wider spool, the drag curve would not significantly drop, and this is why I went with the Torium for this. Now there are bigger sizes like the third Torium 16, but I find that this is easier to palm and. With the addition of the longer handle, it doubles as a fantastic slow jigging reel. So as, as far as my usage is concerned, I, I've really lost nothing and um, even saved a few bucks. So yep, that's it for now and I hope you learned something. If you haven't yet, by the way, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you in the next one.